Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with December favorites. And I hope everybody had a great Christmas and a great New Year's. I have not recorded anything in about three weeks because I've just spent this entire holiday just really focused in on my family and it was such a good holiday and I hope that y'all's was too. And I'm just gonna jump right into this and I'm gonna do December makeup favorites and then I'm gonna follow with the lifestyle favorites. And then I'm going to do my yearly favorites. It'll probably come out mid to late January, maybe in a week or two. And I'm going to jump right into this. And I'm going to start with um, my fails, as usual. And y'all, this one is, I think, pretty beloved, but just did not work for me. And that's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. i tell you what this reminded me of is the Catrice Matte Foundation that kind of leaves a glow on your face and it glowed on my worst parts and I just didn't care for it. It's like a matte and it glows on my worst parts. It makes all these shadows just stand out. I did not care for this um, a whole lot and I was kind of surprised. I'm gonna hand that off. Okay, and I'm gonna move on to my favorites and I will start with a favorite foundation and that is the Chanel Ultra Latent. This is beautiful. It is a medium to leaning towards a full cover. Every time I wear this, it's like um, kind of a filter on my face. It just leaves me perfected. Just the right amount of matte and luminosity. It's like a skin finish, but you know, not too shiny, not too matte. Just gives a very flawless finish. Oh, I have it on today. This is what I have on today and I really like it. Okay, next I picked up a Rimmel Scandalize and I think I heard about this on the O'Carroll Show. I love this. I usually don't like a real soft liner, but I really like this. It's between a pencil and a liquid. It goes on so easy. Doesn't smudge, stays on all day. Kind of like a gel. It may be a gel. Waterproof gel pencil. It's a gel. And I really like that. It, it's what I have on my um, upper eyelid today. And then I make a, like a tiny little baby wing just so easy. I really like this and it seems to last all day, doesn't smudge, and um, I'm really loving the Rimmel Scandalize. Okay, next, a couple of powders. One of you girls told me when I said I liked the NYX HD powder, she asked me if I had tried the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder, and I love that this is in a pressed, and I love this powder. It is very blurring. It's very blurring. We'll put a little bit on. Yeah, just very, very blurring. I'm loving this e.l.f. HD powder. Okay, then I also picked up the Milani Prep Set and Glow. I heard about this from Frances Happiness Sparkles. She was loving this. And then one of you girls asked me if I'd tried it, and I was like, I really need to get that. So I did, and I love it. We will just layer. It just gives a nice, luminous, not too matte, not too luminous um, finish. Reminds me a little bit of the Hourglass Veil, and I really love this. It's just a very nice finish with a tiny bit of a luminosity. Okay, next, I picked up another Alter Ego palette. Last month, I was talking about the Daydream, and I picked up the Goddess, and this is a dupe for Natasha Denona. Maybe the gold palette. Hold on, let me clean this up a little bit. I love these Alter Ego palettes. They are blendable. They are pigmented. No more fallout than anything else. These are lovely. And I'm glad I bought this in the Alter Ego and not the D Natasha Denona because that it really is just a neutral palette to me. And I will get my money out of the Ultra Ego. I would not have out of the Natasha Denona. I love the Ultra Ego formula. If you have not tried the Ultra Ego um, eyeshadows and you are an eyeshadow collector like I am, you might try those. That's my second one, and I love them both. Love the Daydream. Love the Goddess. I will get more of these. Okay, next, I got two Jouer blushes, and I love these both. Y'all, I love the Jouer blushes. They're just beautiful. This one in Flirt is kind of an apricot with a little bit of pink in it, which is my favorite. I love a peachy pink. It's like that. And very vibrant and beautiful. And I think that would go with Warms or Cools. And then this one in Coquette is a very cool pink palette. This is the one I have on today. 
And this has a lavender underneath it, which I love. I love a pink with some lavender under it. It is so beautiful. And then the lighter one, so pretty. Yeah, I love the um, Jouer Blush Duos. Okay, and then I tried another blush by Glossier. Heard about this one on Kate the Great. And it's called Storm. And I want to swatch this for you because it is um, it has a very different look. It, when I first put it on, I thought that's going to be too brown. Very dark. But then it shears out into a like an earthy, rosy color. And I just put this on with a beauty blender. And see, it ends up being very subtle. But you can build it up. So it shears out to be as subtle as you want it to be. And it just adds the most beautiful, kind of earthy, rosy glow. And I don't have anything like this, I don't think. If I put this on with my fingers, I can get a very pigmented look. But if I put it on with a beauty blender, I can shear that out really nice. So I put it on the back of my hand, just dip the beauty blender, and then bounce that out. And then with the other end, blend the edges, and it's just very nice. Okay, next, I picked up an art stick in by Bobbi Brown in Dusty Pink. Y'all, I love this. It's nice and fat and kind of soft, and this is just a really pretty, earthy, but kind of bright pink. It reminds me of Lancome the Rose. I just really love these art sticks. They're soft, but not too soft, and I just love them. It's just brightening so pretty with a um, pinky nude. Okay, next, I tried a new primer. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me, and that is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Y'all, this is beautiful, and it does make a difference, even with a full cover foundation. This just glows through a matte foundation beautifully. Doesn't take much. I put about that much for both cheeks, and it is just a beautiful glow. I love this with a matte foundation just right on my cheeks, and it just is a lip from within glow. This reminds me very much of my Becca Backlight. I can use this on one cheek and this on the other, and I really cannot tell the difference. Okay, next, a Rimmel Lip Liner. Y'all, I've been on a Rimmel Liner kick again. I picked up... I picked another one up in Wild Clover, and this is for my peachy nudes. Last month, I got some for my pinky nudes, and this is so pretty with any of my peachy nudes, and I really love it. I just love these as much as anything. These are as good as my Max. That's what they remind me of, and I love that one. And then I have a brush. This is a Sonia G fan brush. This is the Worker Fan Brush. A couple of months ago, I bought both of the face lines from Sonia G. I bought the red ones. I bought these red ones, and I bought the blue ones. For me, I would not purchase the entire set because I don't use all the brushes, but there are brushes in both sets that I love. In another favorites, I had this powder brush. It's the Face Pro. I love this. I use it just about daily. I love that brush. And then the other brush that I use all the time is this Worker Fan. It is so fat and dense, but I still use it for my highlighter. I just love the shape of it and that it's a little bit denser. And to me, this has been worth the splurge. I have several of the more professional fan brushes. I have Wayne Goss's. And I have her other fan, I have Sonia G's other fan pro, the smaller one, this one. To me, it's head and shoulders above any other fan brush I have. I love this. Okay, next, I have a couple of skincare items. And the first one I heard about on Keeping It Simple with Bridget, it's the Cause RX Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence. And this is it. I just use this up for a cleanse and tone morning and night, and I love this. And it is slimy, but I like that because then I know it really does have that snail mucin in it. I was so excited to try this, and I love it. Hold on. I'm going to show you. It. I mean, it is pretty slimy. 
but it feels really good. I shouldn't say slimy. It feels really good going on. So I've been using this morning and night, and I'll keep y'all posted on what I think it is doing for my skin. But on the daily, it makes it, you know, just feel soft. It's not too heavy. It soaks right in. Doesn't leave it feeling greasy or heavy. I just really really like that. Okay, next, I, but I picked up the Cosmetic Immunity Beta Glucan, or Glucon. Heard about this on Penn Smith Skincare. Hold on, I'll tell you what it does. Beta Glucons are polysaccharide sugars found in our cell walls, and they have been shown to calm irritated skin and firm and plump fine lines and wrinkles. Again, I will keep y'all posted long term, but I'm really um, enjoying this. I love the texture of it. And you know, anything that is supposed to plump and firm fine lines, I love the texture just that much. I could do my whole arm with that. It just is real thin and spreads, but feels nice and um, luxurious and moisturizing, and I love it. Okay, next, a product by Inky List, the Ceramide Night Treatment. Um, I love the texture of this one, too. This one's a little bit thicker, but still a serum texture. That's it. And it just feels very nice. And we all know ceramides are really good for us, so I like having you know, an entire product just de dedicated to the ceramides. And the Inky List is so affordable. So I'm loving that. I will tell you the Inky List products are very affordable. They don't last that long, but they're, I think, just right over $10. So really enjoying this um, ceramide treatment. I think I heard about that on Wank Oz. Okay, next, I am loving the Laneige sleeping lip mask lip sleeping mask i'm so late to this party y'all because i thought it's for the lips i like my vaseline but my lips have been so bad this winter this winter so i finally picked this up and i love this so much i got one for my daughter and i've just ordered one for my niece and i've ordered another one for myself in vanilla it's just nice this is really the only thing i have found so far that actually stops my lips from peeling in the winter time. It's just dry here, y'all. I live in the desert. I'm going through menopause. I'm dry as a bone. And this stops my lips from peeling. I will tell y'all, I have found that this is worth the splurge. I love the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I have another one on the way. And that is all of my makeup favorites for the month of December. Again, I hope y'all had an amazing holiday, whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah. I hope you had a lot of just a blessed holiday with your family. And it's so nice to be here with you again. I miss y'all. So anyway, that's all I have for you. Y'all let me know down below some things that y'all picked up and are loving right now. So we can all pick those up and love them with you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.